travel tissue pouch, download and print and cut out your two pattern pieces. Take pattern piece A, place it on your felted wool sweater, pin in place and cut it out. So a light, a more lightweight felted sweater works best for this project. You don't want a thick, bulky um, sweater to, for this project. You can also make this pattern using two woven fabrics, but the felted wool sweater really gives it character and it's really nice and cozy in your hands. Take the woven piece, which will be the lining of the pouch, which is cute with a print, a contrasting print. Pin that in place and cut one out. This is pattern piece B. Remove the pins and place the ends together, the short ends together, right sides together. Pin one side in place and notice that they're different sizes and that is what makes the, the magic lining and trim edge. So the fab, the print fabric is going to be longer and there'll be, it'll look like that. Take it to the sewing machine and sew down the outer seams. Backstitch at the beginning and end of your seam. Flip it around and sew the other side. Remove the pins if you haven't already. Turn it inside out and take it to the ironing board where we're going to press the edges. Flip the seam towards the outside and press. Let's take it to the sewing machine and stitching and top stitch the edge there so it will be a nice um, seam and finished edge. So you can sew in the ditch or you can sew just inside on the, on the printed fabric. Lay out the piece with the, the sweater on top, fold it in half and mark the halfway point with a pin. Open it up so the sweater is on top and fold the side in at the edge of the pin. That is your center and you want the edges to overlap a bit. And see how I have folded the edge so it is a little bit longer? That is what the trick is to keep a nice tight opening instead of it being really floppy. So you want that to be the edges extend out just a little bit past the edge. I know that sounds crazy but and a little odd, but that will make it a little that will make the, the opening tight and not floppy. So overlap, center it, and pin in place. Pin in place so that the the edges the edges are a little bit longer than the back side. Take it to the machine and sew that edge, a quarter inch seam allowance, and then trim the edges. Don't get too close, you don't want it to fray too much, so just clipping off the, the bulk and your threads. Cutting the corners, making sure not to clip the seam. Turn it inside out and take your scissors, if they're not real pointy, or a pencil, and the racer edge and poke out your corners. Take your tissue pouch, your tissue packet, insert it into your pouch, and you're good to go. 
a nice way to keep your tissue pouch inside your purse.